Welcome, Taurus. Welcome, 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 welcome. So I did have a video for you guys, but everything got in the way of me posting this video. So I'm having to start from scratch, which is okay. Which is okay, which is okay. I have to tell myself that it's okay. Um, but let's see what we have for you guys for the month of October. All right. Um, excuse my nail. I just had to pop it off because uh, it was really hanging. I couldn't deal with it. So excuse my nail. But let's get to it. Let's get down to it. I want to see what energy is coming in for Taurus for the month of October. What messages do you have for Taurus for the month of October? If you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There's more to come. All right. So let's get to it. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. All right, Taurus. I'm here to shuffle nine times for Taurus. I feel like there's some type of completion. Some of you guys could be seeing the number 999. A cycle could be completing for you guys, okay? All right, so this is four. All right, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, Taurus, okay? These are general readings. They won't resonate with every single Taurus. So if they happen to resonate, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, look, I told you guys, some of you guys feel as if you need a new start here. There's a new beginning. We have the fool here at the bottom of, of the deck. So maybe you're deciding to take some type of risk, okay? You're taking action, okay? We have the king of wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or you're just taking on this energy, okay? There's a leap of faith that you possibly want to take. And I feel like some of you guys are taking action on this, okay? All right, look, someone here is feeling rejected or left out in the cold, or someone here is going through a hard time, okay? Yeah, we have the five of wands as the challenge. So there's conflict. Someone's in trouble, all right? And someone needs a new beginning, possibly like a new place to live, a new place to stay, Um I'm just getting that there is a need for a new start, okay? We got the Six of Cups in the past, all right? Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. Future energy, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, all right? So I'm picking up on some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a fire sign, but I'm getting a pick up and go energy okay look someone feels stabbed in the back or betrayed or there is a complete ending somebody feel i feel like you guys feel betrayed or left out of something but everybody around you feel like you can do it yourself or you're you're well off okay like you have the means to do something but then with this king of swords aquarius Libra, Gemini energy. This is in your hopes and fears, okay? And as your outcome, we have the Ace of Cups. Emotions, feelings. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Wow, Taurus. Things could be in the air for you. You're waiting for a brand new start. You're waiting for something fresh and new. 
Um, you could be feeling as if you feel left out in the cold by someone or this situation. Um, but I'm picking up on possibly financial issues as well. Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. The Six of Cups is past energy. And this is in the past energy. So something, this could possibly have something to do with the past. There could be children involved in this situation as well. And we have you here, your energy, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's an ending to something here. There's some type of ending. I feel like you guys are disappointed because someone, either you feel left out in the cold or someone around you is left out in the cold, okay? You had hope for someone or situation in the past, okay? Maybe someone is coming towards you or you want to talk to someone about a relationship, a bond that you have with someone, okay? Because I sense that you want to rush in. Maybe you're rushing in to help someone because someone here is in trouble is what I'm picking up on. Someone here is in trouble and it may not be you. It could be vice versa, but this could be the energy that is around you. I feel like we got this... Um, we got this queen of wands. So I feel like moving forward, you're going to, you're wanting to take action because I see someone here wants some recognition. Okay. We got the six of wands and the nine of cups. Someone wants some type of uh, recognition, wanting some attention here. Someone I'm picking up that there is an ending here. There is something dramatic, some type of betrayal possibly an ending and it could involve family okay this is about stability and family life we have the ten of cups as well as the ten of pentacles so it could be in regards to finances and money or family okay but i'm sensing that there is some type of ending an ending to a situation a situation that where someone is fighting a huge battle here I feel like everybody around this situation, surround this situation, feel as if you tried your best. You've put in a lot of effort. You've done what you can do. But someone here is very offensive, or you're hoping that someone is very offensive. Someone here could actually be getting cut completely off. We got the King of Swords as well as the Page of Swords. So this is definitely harsh communication. This is someone coming down and speaking their truth, speaking exactly how it is that they feel, because someone here is standing their ground. But this is in your hopes and your fears. So you could be fearing that someone is going to communicate um, or speak their truth, and they're not going to care how it's said, okay? Or maybe this is something that you're hoping to do. Because I'm seeing that there's some kind of communication that you want to rush in and say. You want to rush in and say this. Um, but maybe you feel like you would come off um, very cold. All right. We have your energy here as the outcome. Um, with this Ace of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles as well as the Magician. Okay, so this Ace of Cups is emotions, is feelings. Okay, so you want to express yourself. I feel like you are going to express yourself um, towards this individual. Okay, I want to see why the Magician is here. All right, Ace of Pentacles. It's trying to make something make sense, okay? Um, maybe you're uh, wanting to hear how someone feels because you're trying to make sense of it. Oh, and I'm getting, there's a toxic energy here. Someone can be um, possessive or very controlling. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? 
or maybe you're trying to stay out of the drama okay and you feel like maybe you need to cut someone out to keep you out of the middle of the situation why is the five of pentacles here yeah here we go again that five of wands came right back out i'm telling you some someone is like in the middle of a some type of storm i'm getting that someone got caught in a lie someone um was afraid to say something we got the hermit card here so some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo or there's just like looking for some type looking for some type of evidence or feeling as if someone is has lied okay something in regards to the past so maybe they they lied to you before in the past okay um wow why is the five of wands here? Why is this conflict here? What is this conflict? Why is five of wands here? Look, here we go again. Five of swords. I'm telling you, there's something here something here that you're trying to avoid i feel like you're trying to avoid something you're trying to move on or remain out of this situation um wow clarify the five of swords There's worry. We got the nine of swords. Nine of cups. I'm telling you, nine, nine, nine. I'm just picking up for you guys the number nine. Um, so this, there's a closing of a chapter. So I feel like maybe you're trying to close yourself off from this. Why is the nine of cups here? Look, seven of swords. I'm telling you. Whatever the situation is, it's getting a lot of attention. Like everybody's eyes is on it. And whew. look, we got regrets, okay? Um Y'all let me know what's going on in this comment section. Because I'm getting, picking up on some type of um, drama that you either want to be left out of or you feel left out of. Let's look at the let's look at the love oracle cards. Let's see what messages do we have for Taurus and love. I'm gonna have to sage after that. Whoa! All right, we got worth waiting for. Woo. All right, we have let your friends help you. All right, and oh, we got make this. This just popped out to me. This was in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, and it was make the effort. And then we have children. Some of you guys may feel there could be children involved. Maybe some of you guys feel like someone isn't making the effort, isn't putting forth any effort. So for some of you guys, this could involve like a baby mother or a baby father or something in the nature of dealing with uh, children. So maybe uh, someone has been getting help. You've been getting receiving help from friends. Ooh, okay. And we have let go of control issues. So there's something that you're trying to let go of, okay? You're allowing the situation to unfold naturally, okay? 
why is worth waiting for here? Why is let your friends help you here? And why is let go of control issues here? We got a Ten of Pentacles. Stability. Okay, we have the Strength card. Leo's energy. Having the courage to um, accept help from others. This Ten of Pentacles, could, this situation could involve family or this could be about money, okay? Or something long-term, getting stability, okay? Why is let go of control issues here? Something is worth the wait. Maybe you were feeling like something was going to be worth the wait. Okay, so you were waiting for some type of truth to come out. You were waiting patiently for some type of truth to come out. This situation could involve, um, could be family oriented. Okay, you're waiting for, um, waiting for to stand your ground or waiting for someone to stand their ground um, because. <coughs> other people maybe you're getting advice from other people or there's just other people involved here with this let your friends help you that, let, that makes me feel that there's other people involved maybe you're getting advice from other people um or other people are lending some type of hand but i feel like there is like some type of disagreement okay because someone does not want to let go of a situation um and let the situation be um so i feel like there could be um some type of conflict here Yeah, there is some type of conflict, some type of battle. We have the Five of Swords and the Justice card. So some of you guys could be dealing with the court system, or this is just some type of battle or disagreement that needs to be balanced out, okay? It needs to be balanced out. There's a disappointment about a situation ending. There's some truth. You are waiting for some truth to be revealed, um, waiting for the whole story to come out. Um, and right now, presently, people are lending a helping hand, because I'm picking up on someone needs some type of help is what I'm getting. Um, someone here is needed to stand their ground and take action. I'm definitely getting that. You were waiting for somebody to stand their ground and take action. Okay, you're waiting on it. Right now, I mean, going into the near future, you're deciding on whether or not if you need to let go of the situation. And I'm telling you now, Taurus. If this situation is causing any type of conflict or unnecessary conflict, bringing it to your door, you get rid of it, okay? You remove it. Because I'm definitely picking on, picking up on um, this Knight of Swords energy is very childlike energy. Some of you guys are dealing with children. Um... It's like getting get getting involved. For some of you guys, I'm picking up like this is like drama with a, a baby mother or a baby father on whether or not on some type of assistance, someone needing some type of assistance um, and help from others. And this is like solving someone issues. So the issue is going to get resolved. Um, regardless, I feel like with this devil card here, some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, but I do feel like this situation is going to get resolved in the near future. Why is the devil here? Yeah, okay. The temperance card here is about finding healing and balance. So I feel like whatever this situation is, is going to get handled properly and it's going to be balanced. Okay, it's going to get, so there's going to be um, a balancing of the situation. But someone is going to have to, I'm getting, I'm hearing surrender, letting go of trying to control the situation and just let it unfold naturally, okay? That's what I'm picking up on for you guys. All right, so that is going to be the message 
that I have for Taurus. Um, let me know what's going on in the comment section below, guys. Um, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. And until next time, guys. Ciao for now.